the most unsportsmanlike moments in tennis. Hey, get ready for some jaw-dropping moments as we delve into the world of tennis and uncover the most unsportsmanlike actions we've ever witnessed on the court. From trash talking to racket smashing, these players have taken their competitive spirit to a whole new level. But be warned, this video may leave you wondering if good sportsmanship is just a thing of the past. So grab your popcorn and let's get into it. Tennis is a high pressure sport that demands physical and mental toughness. We've all been there, dealing with frustration and anger in our own lives. But some players take their frustrations to a whole new level, letting their anger get the best of them. From hurling insults at umpires to smashing rackets into smithereens, these outbursts can be both shocking and hilarious. And things can take a dark turn when players cross the line and lash out at others. But what happens when players cross the line and take their frustrations out on someone else? That's where things get really ugly. Scandalous, Verdasco's rude behavior. So let's jump first into the scandalous world of Fernando Verdasco, the tennis player with a fiery attitude and a penchant for provocative gestures. Known for his aggressive playing style and numerous titles, Verdasco is no stranger to the competitive world of tennis. However, in a match against Fabio Fonini at the Barcelona Open in 2019, Verdasco's temper got the best of him and things got spicy. After losing a point, Verdasco made a provocative gesture towards Fonini, which caused the Italian to confront him. The crowd was on edge, the umpire was on high alert, and Verdasco's actions were not well received by anyone. It was a classic case of unsportsmanlike behaviour and Verdasco knew it. Later on he apologised, but the damage had already been done. Now we all know that tennis is built on mutual respect and dignity and actions like Verdasco's go against these values. It's one thing to be competitive, but it's another thing entirely to cross the line and engage in behaviour that's simply not acceptable. Verdasco's actions were a clear violation of the tennis code of conduct. Maxine Hamo's unwanted advances, friendly or harassment. Next up, we have Maxine Hamou, the French tennis player who has been no stranger to controversy on and off the court. While Hamou's playing style has been known to wow crowds, it's his behavior during the 2017 French Open that had everyone talking. So try to picture this, a post-match interview with a female reporter. All seems well, and then suddenly Hamou decides to make his move. He repeatedly tried to kiss the reporter on the cheek, despite her obvious discomfort, and attempts to push him away. It was a cringe-worthy moment caught on camera, and the tennis community was quick to condemn Hamou's behavior. The French Tennis Federation took a stand against Hamou, banning him from the tournament. It was a bold move, but it was the right one. Hamou's behavior towards the female reporter was completely unacceptable, and it wasn't only disrespectful, but also a violation of personal space. Now, some might argue that Hamou's actions were innocent and that he was just trying to be friendly. But let's be real here, folks. We all know that unwanted advances are not okay. And it's up to us to call them out when we see them. In the world of sports, it's especially important for players to understand that their behaviour is always being watched, and they must always act with respect and professionalism, both on and off the court. Serena Williams' outburst, tennis scandal. Another player who comes to mind is Serena Williams. Serena is undoubtedly one of the greatest tennis players of all time, but even she had her moments of controversy on the court. In the 2018 US Open final, Serena was given a game penalty for verbally abusing the chair umpire. 
she accused him of being a thief and a liar. You are the liar. And even smashed her racket on the court in frustration. Her behaviour not only cost her the game, but also tarnished her image as a sports icon. The incident sparked a debate about double standards in tennis, with many people pointing out that male players have gotten away with similar behaviour without being penalised. However, it's important to note that regardless of gender, unsportsmanlike behaviour should never be tolerated on the tennis court. As a player and a public figure, Serena has a responsibility to uphold the values of the game, which include respect, integrity and sportsmanship. It's not just about winning or losing, but how you play the game. Even the most talented players must learn to control their emotions and act with grace and dignity in all situations. Nick Kyrgios, Tennis's Rebel King. Moving on, let's talk about Nick Kyrgios, an Australian tennis player and the ultimate bad boy of tennis. Just relax. Are you playing? Are you good at tennis? Exactly, so why are you speaking? With his devil-may-care attitude and fiery temperament, he's been known to cause chaos on and off the court. But one of his most infamous moments came during the 2019 Western and Southern Open, when he took things to a whole new level. In a shocking move, Kyrgios intentionally hit the ball directly at his opponent during a serve, putting their safety in serious jeopardy. It was a move that left fans and commentators alike stunned and horrified. This was not the first time Kyrgios had caused a stir on the court. His previous antics included verbal abuse towards opponents and umpires, throwing tantrums and even intentionally tanking matches. Some fans argue that his unconventional style is refreshing and entertaining, but many believe that he is setting a bad example for young players and that his behaviour is damaging to the sport. Despite the backlash, Kyrgios remains unapologetic and continues to push the boundaries. Do you regret not apologising for hitting him with the ball in the third Why would I apologise? Love him or hate him, there's no denying that he's one of the most controversial figures in tennis history. The question remains, will he continue to cause chaos or will he finally clean up his act? Novak Djokovic's epic meltdown, the moment that shocked the tennis world. When it comes to tennis, we all know there's no shortage of drama and controversy. But did you know that even the great Novak Djokovic has had his fair share of missteps? That's right, even the most accomplished athletes can lose their cool in the heat of the moment. In one of the most unforgettable moments in his career, Djokovic was playing against Tomasz Berdyk during the 2016 French Open quarterfinals. It was an intense match and tensions were running high. Djokovic, who is known for his fierce competitiveness, lost his temper and smashed his racket on the ground. The move resulted in a warning from the umpire and shocked many people who never expected to see such behaviour from such an accomplished player. But let's not dwell on the past because since the incident, Djokovic has worked hard to improve his behaviour on the court and become an advocate for sportsmanship and respect in tennis. He's not just an incredible athlete, but he's also a humanitarian who uses his platform to make a positive impact in the world. In fact, Djokovic recently founded the Novak Djokovic Foundation, which is dedicated to promoting education and opportunities for underprivileged children. Talk about a class act. It's inspiring to see how someone who has achieved so much success can still remain humble and use their fame for good. Tennis is a sport that demands not only physical strength and mental toughness, but also respect, integrity and sportsmanship from its players. The importance of good sportsmanship cannot be overstated, as it not only affects the reputation of individual players, but also the sport as a whole. From verbal abuse to racket smashing, unsportsmanlike behaviour has no place on the tennis court, and players who engage in such behaviour must be held accountable for their actions. While some may find the drama entertaining, true tennis fans understand the value of fair play 
and the role it plays in maintaining the integrity of the sport they love. As you watch your favourite tennis players compete, remember to keep an eye out for any unsportsmanlike behaviour and always support players who display good sportsmanship. Let's work together to promote the values of respect and fair play on and off the court. And that, my friends, is game set and match for this episode of Glam Slam Tennis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of the action and what we have in store. Until next time, stay fabulous and ace those serves. Thank you.